Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for around the 21st. This is my second one. I'm not sure if I'm going to share the first one. After I watched it, it was clear that it was probably about martial law. So, um, I believe that you can expect, uh, this is what I take from the reading that I just did, for martial law to take effect and for people to, uh, a lot of shit to come out. This is all part of karma. It's part of the plan. It's, it's something that a higher power has, has, uh, made happen to illuminate, uh, what is happening in your your life in your circles um, things that are hidden things that um, are being hidden and need to uh, be cleared out this you might as well yeah this is a tower moment it is definitely a tower moment it's where the universe comes in and sheds the light on everything and I mean everything I saw a lot of, of cheating in that reading a lot of cheating a lot of deception a lot of thieving a lot of stealing a lot of betrayal I could see Facebook. There was Facebook on there, and I mentioned Facebook. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll share it. I got it halfway downloaded, then I hit stop. Um, there's going to be some Facebook discoveries, put it that way, way. You know, as these people are forced to be home together with their mates that they really don't love, things are going to get uncovered. Um, a lot of, of where people have been pretending to be happy. Now they're now they're stuck. Now they're stuck. They're trapped. There was a lot of trapped in those cards. One of the first cards that came out was all tied up. Somebody being trapped. And, and martial law would certainly trap you at home. So it's going to trap people. Um, confine them to spaces with people that they really don't like. You can't you can't live that lie very easily. So um, it's it's really going to cause a lot of havoc and there's a lot that is about to be revealed during this time i think there's going to be um more more yeah yeah there's going to be more uh deaths caused because of the coronavirus but there's also going to be some violence caused from being trapped in uh confined spaces with people you don't like so i think that's going to cause a big uproar as well and if you think about cabin fever in the middle of winter when you can't leave the house or if there's some sort of you know catastrophic event and you're and you're stuck i mean that's another thing so i feel like there's there's this is just going to be a, cause a big huge uproar where you know there's really going to be a serious clean out and i think that this clean out is going to be in more ways than one Okay, so I think that you should be prepared for, uh, uh, to hear a lot, a lot about a lot of, of separations, a lot of, of arrests, a lot of deaths in the near future. I feel like there's going to be, I, you could, there could even be some, like, stealing, you know, riots, that kind of thing. Um, I expect this myself based on what I do. I think this will probably go on, you know, for a couple of months, unfortunately. Um, I see that, I see that, uh, this does have to do with karma and it has to do with instilling, uh, order, a reorder. It's like a realignment. Okay. It's a realignment of, uh, Wow, what would you call that? A, a hierarchy? Um, there is definitely going to be a realignment. Okay. Um, what has been fake, what has been real, um, is going to be exposed. 2020 is the year of exposure. And making people be into in confined spaces with people that they don't really like, but they've been staying with for you know, materialistic reasons or um, just because they don't want to be alone or whatever. When, they, when you are forced to be with somebody that you do not like, uh, shit really gets real. So be prepared for shit to really get real. What I saw at the beginning was the Ace of Pentacles and that is about reality, okay? That, that is the, that's reality, okay? It's something real. And I had said at the beginning of that reading, get ready for a golden opportunity. And as I watched my reading later after, I always do as it is downloading, I said, I said to myself, no, that's about being real. 
That's about being real. The shit is about to get real, okay? So be prepared for shit to get real. Um, if you have been cheating and you have been on Facebook and you think it's all hidden, it's not hidden because everybody's emotions are all over the place. Their anxiety. Anxiety was a second card or the first card that came up. It didn't come out reverse. Extreme anxiety, extreme depression, extreme despair, okay? So I feel like we have somebody that is, their anxiety levels are skyrocketing because, you know, they can't, you know how people are, you, you, you kind of call it like double personality or bipolar. When you're at work, you're different. You're kind of like you're a different person than you are when you're at home. So it's like you're, you're playing two different roles. So when you're only playing one role and you can't, you don't have that um, exchange with other people, you know, it can, it can cause a major dis depression. And I saw the competition down here. We have somebody here that obviously a lot of people that thrive on competition when you are stuck with the same people day in and day out and day in and day out. And, you know, that can really hinder your, um, expression, your self-expression, your livelihood, you know, your, your ability to live, your feelings of adequacy, you know, you're not getting attention from all kinds of people. You're, you know, when you're stuck with these same people and they're not giving you the attention that you need, especially if you're an egomaniac, we did have the hangman right next to it, which is somebody who has a really big ego. So if you're an egomaniac and you're not getting the attention because there's a martial law or the, the or the government is telling you that you can't get out there and go get that attention you're gonna burst you're gonna burst so be prepared to hear about some uh, bursting going on um, so what else do we got what do we have for around the 21st and this is all part of the plan the first card out was the justice card we all know what the justice card the justice is the laws of karma Everything is happening as it should. There are no toleration for lies. Let the truth come out. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, justice reversed. <laughs> this is uh, not a happy outcome. This, there's been some unfair treatment. Somebody has been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. Placing blame. This is this is not good. This is an injustice. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. They're not happy with the outcome. There's no resolution in sight. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They've been dishonest. And this is karma. If you are that person that has treated somebody unfairly. And you know it. And you don't have to listen to me. I don't care. I'm a messenger. If you are that person that has been unjust. You only cared about yourself. You were selfish. You don't want to be held accountable for your actions. You don't tell the truth and you lie all the time. You're probably not going to be happy with the experience that you are about to go through. Oh my God. Ten of Wands. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. You may feel like you are under a lot of pressure under a lot of pressure like the world is against you oh 
lovers. Unexpected choice in love. There's a choice. It's the card of consequences. We have somebody here. This is a poor decision. Somebody has made a bad decision with the justice reverse. They did not do the right thing. Somebody did not do the right thing with the justice reversed. Now they've got a lot of baggage. Now they're overwhelmed. Now they're carrying a heavy burden. They're carrying a heavy burden because they didn't do the right thing. They may have chosen somebody for all the wrong reasons. Now there's some sort of consequences. Karmic consequences. Karmic consequences. This is a card of consequences. Choosing somebody else. This is a choice between two. It is. We have somebody who's having a hard time doing the right thing. May have something to do with weight. There's somebody may be overweight. I'm not sure. May have something to do with weight. Because that's a heavy weight. This is a heavy burden. They could be burdened by their past. Burdened by past karma. Burdened by a lover. Burdened by something. This is about a lover. An unex this is love. The choice between two people. This is a soulmate. That's a contract. That's a contract. Something about a contract. A soulmate contract. Somebody is overwhelmed with the choice that they have to make. And they haven't made the right choice as of yet. So karma... They're not being honest with themselves. We have somebody here that's not being honest with themselves. And karma is saying, you know what you want. Why are you, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you holding on to this? Oh my goodness gracious. There's somebody here that is very loving, very tender, very kind, has a big, big, big heart. But this person has a big ego. Humongous. Big ego. Unreasonable. Self-righteous. Egotistical. We have an egotistical masculine here. We have a beautiful, loving feminine. I mean, that's what this is. Could go vice versa, I suppose. Somebody has made a choice, or they're about to make a choice. This guy is having a hard time doing the right thing. Although she... She has a cup of love. That's a big cup of love right there. She has love. Her heart is huge. She has a huge heart. She's been trying to love this egomaniac. She has been. This is an egomaniac. Needing to make a choice between two again. This is a choice between two. We, you can't have both. So th there is definitely a choice between two here. We have somebody here that is undecided. They are undecided. They're having a hard time following their heart. They are. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with some baggage or some burden of the past. Maybe overworked. This person may be overworked. Maybe, maybe too busy. Maybe lying, though. Could be lying and saying they're too busy. Because this is a lie. This is a lie. This guy just can't take any action. He cannot. He's weak. He's a coward. So we have a coward here who is weak. It looks as though this feminine has a cup of love, right? This is love. She's She has, she has a big heart. She's offering her heart. But this guy is, well, he doesn't know what the hell he wants. He doesn't. He has to make a choice. And she has. They both have. Somebody has to make a choice. They, they both have to make a choice. So there is definitely a choice here. 
Nine of Wands reversed. Avoiding challenge. Nine of Wands reversed. Somebody is avoiding challenge. They have great personal fear. Definitely overwhelmed. Overwhelmed of falling in love. Overwhelmed of giving their heart away. Overwhelmed, you know, scared to uh, get tied down. The Knight of Wands reversed is, is refusing to compromise as well. So this is a struggle. Somebody is struggling to choose. You can't have both. You can only have one. So I feel as though we have a masculine that has an opportunity for love. There may be a person from his past that is... I do think it is somebody from the past. Maybe this person is in love with him and he and he has somebody new, but he can't see. He can't see that he, what he needs to do. He he just doesn't know. He doesn't know. Definitely uh going back and forth with this 2 of pentacles. This is about alignment as well. So this is this is a geometric power larger than us that is trying to bring two people together and that's the truth here that are meant to be together but we have somebody that is fighting it we have this masculine that is fighting it he's fighting it fighting it fighting it fighting it fighting it he is fighting it He's not being honest with himself. It could be the feminine that is fighting it. This is a geometric power. Trying to bring two lovers together that are meant to be. But it is also a card. This is choice. This is about a choice right here. Somebody here that is overwhelmed. Or definitely overwhelmed. They may be... Uh, very distrustful they've been wounded in the past very 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 wounded in the past by somebody that that they loved or didn't love them or something like that it's definitely emotional an emotional time we have a a uh uh now the queen of cups could be a counselor a healer somebody that is very sweet somebody that is a sight this could be a psychic this person um very intuitive very emotional, loving, and warm. She is offering love, but this guy is not making the right choice. He's not, he's not making the right choice. He has to choose between two. And I feel like karma is keeping this man down because he's making the wrong choice, whatever that choice is. He's very egotistical. This guy wants to have his cake and eat it too. He absolutely does. He wants the whole cake. He is very unreasonable. Very unreasonable. But this is the universe, really. The two of pentacles saying, hey, this is what you got. What are you going to choose? What are you going to do? We have extreme pride here. So yes, we have somebody here, a masculine that has extreme pride, big, huge ego. Now he's going to experience some sort of karma and it ain't pretty. I'm just telling you, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty at all. Um, page of Wands. There's The Page of Wands is a new opportunity. It's a new opportunity. So where some sort of good news arrives where somebody says, I can do this, I can do this. Find somebody gets brave. It's like they they suddenly uh, get this vision and they get this new found bravery. You know, they find this new direction. They, they, they let go of their fear. Wow, the eight of coins reversed. That's not putting in effort. Knight of Cups. That's looking for love. Wanting a relationship. Deciding they want a relationship. Somebody may suddenly decide that they want a relationship. 
I, mean, I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, this something to do with losing money. The Eight of Pentacles reversed is losing money, not putting in effort, not putting in effort. This could be a new suitor. A new suitor could come in that's looking for a relationship. So that could be that could be his karma. Okay, there's some sort of karma here. There could be a new suitor, or there's some, that could be an invite or an offer or somebody that you know communicates that is looking for a relationship. King of Swords reversed. Now that is abuse. That is abuse. King of Swords reversed is abusive individual. Somebody that is mean. Cold, uncaring. So we have somebody here that just doesn't care. Karma doesn't care. Karma doesn't care. Somebody doesn't care. They're not putting in effort. Somebody doesn't care. They're not putting in effort. And there's a new relationship that is coming in. Oh my God. This is a new relationship coming in. A new offer coming in. It is a new offer coming in. This person is cold and uncaring, doesn't put in effort, and here comes somebody else. That's bad news. That's bad news. This is good news on one hand, but it's bad news with the justice reverse. Somebody is going to... Uh, be dealing with some consequences for not making the right choice because the person that they didn't stand up for has a new suitor coming in hmm. this person was too busy too busy too busy too had too much on their plate too busy to see this person's heart too focused on everything their ego what is ego ego is money ego is greed ego is you know being in control so somebody you know they were focused more on that they didn't see Now there's another choice. There's another option. So I feel like uh, this person that is cold and uncaring. Nine of Swords is going to uh, have some regrets. They are going to absolutely have some regrets for not moving forward, for not communicating, for not putting in effort. Eight of Swords reversed. This is a bubble being burst. Somebody's bubble is about to be burst. They wasted some time holding on to some baggage of the past or some baggage that they should have let go of a long time ago because now their love connection uh, has somebody else. I know that's different from the channeled message that came out of my mouth, but I feel as though there is an obstacle that is finally being removed. Somebody has been trapped in a uh, mental 
situation where they were mentally conflicted and they were protecting themselves and they were hanging on to somebody that wasn't reciprocating and was cold and uncaring. Um, this person had a big ego, but it's like all of a sudden the bubble is burst and they are free. It's like they're free. They're free to choose another option. And I feel like uh, the universe is playing a part here. I do feel like the universe is playing a part. The universe is bringing two people together that are meant to be together after somebody didn't do the right thing, okay? They didn't. They didn't do the right The justice reversed. They didn't do the right thing. They didn't act with integrity. They weren't being honest with themselves. The person that wasn't being honest with themselves is about to experience something that is unfair to them. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. This isn't what I wanted. You know, when the justice comes up, up, up reversed, it's like... I'm not happy with this outcome. Somebody is not going to be happy with the outcome, you know, that the person that they wanted to be with is in another relationship or getting into another commitment or getting into another relationship because they did not put in effort. They were cold and withdrawn and maybe mentally abusive or neglectful or they just didn't communicate or super controlling or whatever the case is. I feel like somebody is going to get angry. This person deserts you in the time of need. Okay? This is somebody that is mean, is entitled. Only, only cares about himself. Somebody that is power hungry. Not interested in helping, but wants help from others. So I feel as though we have a masculine. I do think it is a There's a lot of masculines here. That has uh, treated somebody unfairly in this masculine is going to experience some bad karma. He's not going to be happy with what happens. And I think that's going to happen in the next two days. Perhaps this feminine has an unexpected choice in love. There's geometric powers, you know, higher than ourselves. Maybe they're bringing this person in. This person has been wounded. This this other person has been wounded. Now they're bringing another option suddenly. This is sudden. Wounded by this masculine who is cold and uncaring. This is a new suitor. So yeah, I think there's good news arriving for for somebody. Something is about to be revealed. A secret is about to come out. We got the high priestess reversed on the bottom. That's why I said that. Somebody has been, you know, holding back their feelings. They've been not telling the truth. Seriously not telling the truth. The truth is about to come out in a situation. Somebody could get really angry. And, uh... I feel like something is about to get revealed. Somebody may already have a new suitor. They may already have a new suitor. And the truth comes out. They've been lying. They've been hiding it. Could have, that's why this person has been so cold. You know, this person has been cold and they've been withdrawn because there's somebody else. There's definitely two people. Two. There's a choice between two. Okay. There is. Somebody has been struggling to make a decision. But the justice card reversed is is this is going to force you to make the decision. You're going to make a decision. You can't just keep this unbalanced, right? It's, this has been very unbalanced. There's this, you know, it's too much. It's too much to be in limbo. It's too much to live like this. You're going to be making a decision. You're going to be making a decision. So I do feel like we do have a one feminine whose bubble is about to get, be burst because the masculine is probably going to choose the one that his heart is invested in. That's what I got. Good luck.